What up, this is July from Kickback Couture, and today I want to talk about 8-bit video game trap beats. I'm going to show you, first off, it is Cookware Tuesday, so uh, Impact Soundworks, one of my favorite companies, they dropped Super Audio Cart, a new rack extension, so I urge you all to check it out. I'm not going to lie to you and tell you the presets are great because they're not all that great, but the samples that are available in this rack extension can make for some incredible presets if you're willing to get down and design the sounds yourself. I will definitely be creating some of my own sounds with this and if you all would like a refill from this let me know. Uh, maybe I could I could get together a refill for you all based on this amazing rack extension. So I do want to go over this and then I'm going to go over some things with oomph. Uh, you know this right here if you don't know what I just said and you're like what? So yeah that um i want to go over something quick with that but uh before i do that let's go over the sounds that i used in super audio cart and talk about some of the things that are included in it so this was a preset alter the amp release to make it shorter because i didn't want the whole thing i wanted it to be more like a bell so, a uh, poly dream master system. So, yeah, definitely like this preset. Next thing I used was a muted guitar, and we can listen to that by itself. I did change the pitch, the semitone, so uh, 12, brought it down 12 semitones, which is an octave. The next sound I used was this lead. And I did add a shaper box on here. I used the Rhythmer 1 preset, and I believe there are no effects on the above presets. Oh, I put halftime and Effectrix on this one, but I turned Effectrix off. So what I did with the first one, where I shortened the release, I added Effectrix, but I didn't like it. So I turned it off just in case I might like it later, but I wasn't really liking what it was doing. Video gamey, video game esque, but I did not like it in the beat. I honestly probably will not be doing anything with this beat. I was just experimenting to see what I can get out of this beautiful rack extension by Impact Soundworks. So the next sound we were going over was this lead. Um, I might have changed something in here, maybe not, I can't remember. The last sound was this pad, I definitely changed, uh, definitely changed the sample in this to a uh, ninja. But looking at everything you have available, you have all of these different game systems that you can choose from and they have different samples for each one. So, Sega Genesis. Everything is here. I'm not even going to act like I remember all the names because I don't. When I was when I was five, I was playing the PlayStation 1, but I do remember I had a GameCube and uh, we had the Sega Genesis something. And Man, man, that's how young I am. So <laughs> anyways, disregard my age. I am legal now. Just turned 21. So I would definitely recommend you get this and dive into some pretty cool sound design and experiment. I do love the arpeggio addition to this rack extension. One thing I believe that it would benefit from is an LFO. I was really kind of let down that I didn't see an LFO on here. And I was looking, I was clicking, and I was like, there's no LFO. But you know, nothing, you know, some simple routing wouldn't take care of. If you want to use an LFO, you can use Thor or any filter for that matter. Just combinate it and make it happen. Next thing I want to talk about is 8-bit drums. So let's go over the drums here. I'm going to solo what I used. Hi-hat, open hi-hat, and then uh, this kick. I did not use a uh, bit crushing on it, but um, this snare I did, however, so we can play So this is the snare without bit crushing. 
And this is, of course, as you can see, built into it. I got it down to 7.9, so about 8 bits. And you could change the dry wet mix knob as you prefer it to be. Without with about 8 again. And then my hi hat. 16 had to turn it down about 50% wet 50% dry and then the open eye hat 16 50% wet so I think this is a great addition that they added to oomph this bit crusher is really perfect if you're trying to go for 8 bit 16 bit, any kind of bit reduced drums, especially lo fi or video game track. Uh, these drums are from my drum kits. I use the Cage Kit from the Raven Wings drum kit, Dissect Snare. Actually, the Cage Kick is from Spider Demon, Dissect is from Spider Demon, Wakanda is from Raven Wings. The accept hi hat is from Raven Wings and coordinate is from Spider Demon. The 808 I used is from Raven Wings and I did use Grain to program this 808. I usually use an NNXT or I use Iris 2. And I definitely will say that I would still use Iris 2 for my drums, knowing that I can use Grain. Only because it still has, to me, it still has a better pitch shifting algorithm, um, which is the ability to pitch shift by radius. Um, however, I will do a video on how to set this up if you guys don't know how to set your 808s up in here the correct way so that you get the right, the right sounding pitches. Otherwise, you know, it could sound like this. And nothing's necessarily wrong with that, but that's definitely not an 808. So if you want to know the right way to do it, make sure you're on tape and I can go through the entire process in another video if you would like me to. But that is all I have for you today. This was a short video on you know ideas of what you can do to get some 8-bit 16-bit video game trap into your life or whatever it may be sound design definitely give this a try the 30-day try is definitely worth it the trial and uh that that 8-bit this um bit crusher right here 16-bit you can go all the way down to two bits that that right there is golden in my opinion so check it out let me know what you think. If you like this video, give it a like, comment, subscribe, and most definitely let me know what you would like to see next. It's all culture, kick back, and cook up. Now to delete this beat. <laughs>